All right, well, I'd like to welcome you all to another one of Cam Logic's Tech Tuesday videos. Today, we're going to be talking about feature based machining, which is a tool inside of NX Cam that allows for um, powerful automatic programming of parts. Just a bit of background my name is Saul Cunningham. I'm an NX Cam application engineer with Cam Logic, and I have over five years of experience programming machines using different software packages and I'm now focusing on NX Cam. So today we're going to get into feature-based machining, like I said. Um, we're going to start by identifying features automatically, which is going to be holes and pockets and different types of counter countersink operations, um, which will then apply automatically to those different features and then modify some of that automatic output for specific needs for maybe a particular part or a particular operation. And with that, we'll get right into it. I'm going to go ahead and open up a part file. See, this is a parasolid file. Can open with NX Cam, we can bring in any any type of data. Say it's a customer part that wasn't wasn't designed in house. So with that, we will set up a manufacturing file, a parent file essentially, which allows the machining data to be stored separate from the model data. Then we'll come in and establish the machine coordinate system. Just essentially um, where we're located on the machine, the, the G54. So that's set to dynamic now. I can just put that over into that other corner. We got turned around there. So there's our X and our Y in the lower lower left corner. And we're going to go ahead and specify the workpiece. <clears throat> That's going to allow NX to compare the part to the blank. We're just going to add a little bit of stock here to the top of the part. So it'll compare the blank to the part file and generate operations based on those features automatically. So the workpiece is set up. What we're going to do is come in and start to look for those features. Now it's going to look parametrically at the workpiece we just set up. And what it's going to do is try to find different types of grooves, pockets, countersinks, all those types of different operations. We're also going to say which direction we're going to analyze the part from, which here we're going to say this is three axis mode. So we're going to look at it from that top face and not allow the machine to not allow not allow the tool to tilt or use any fourth or fifth, fifth axis operations. So we'll set to find features. This part's pretty quick. It can take a minute, but really not too bad. When you think about the time savings. So with all those uh, features selected, we're going to create a feature process which is essentially to apply operations automatically to that. And as it goes through and determines the tool paths, it's going to insert those into the program view.
So here we can see all the different types of operations that were found. And while it did find the toolpath, it didn't generate the data for that. So we'll go ahead and generate for all those operations. Let's see a facing operation come through. Just about everything works. There's one small problem with a bore there. And there you have it. We've got a planar surface mill. I'm going to have that be the first operation, typically where you'd want to see that. So I'll move that to the top. Then it's going to go ahead and cut these pockets. But it's gone very shallowly. I'm going to say I'm going to say you can use 60% on the tool and maybe we can step down up to eight millimeters per per cut. So let's generate that. Yeah, that looks a little bit better. So there's also hole making operations, chamfers, counter bores, uh, and then we can quickly look at that. We just want to see a quick representation of that. Oops. Go ahead and review the whole program. So now we can see that facing version. Facing operation was in front. It comes through and cuts those pockets. Those small channels and then all these hole making operations. And you can see that did quite a few operations to get that, but what it did was catch every every facet of all those holes and really did a great job getting through all that. So with that, we can encourage you all to ask any questions you might have, reach out to me at my, my email, see if we can look at some of the parts you all have, and then of course you could call the support line or, or email us anytime between normal business hours, Eastern Standard Time. Thanks again.